What's up guys, Monkey Bacon here from Sock Monkey Development, and this is my second time filming because the last time I filmed I forgot to turn on my mic. Anyways, today we're going to be, it's going to be a short tutorial, we're going to be learning about a very important, very, very important file. It is called the con configuration file, um, short config or conf. Um, what this does is it's just, it sets a bunch of very important variables in your game. So, not only are we going to be learning configuration files, but we're going to be learning about variables. Yay. Um, so, what we're going to do is make a new file. Save it as conf.lua. So, config.lua, pretty much. Conf.lua, short for configuration.lua. Save. Bam. I saved it in the wrong place. I knew that was going to happen because it happened last time. Wow. Why did I let that happen? Okay. Um, so... This file is very important for core mechanics in your game. Uh, there's actually, there's a special function we're going to use in here, and inside of that function we're going to set a bunch, well, when, we're not going to set a bunch of variables, but there are, a, there, inside of this function there's a bunch of variables that you can set that are key to making an amazing game. Um, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of different ways to do this other than a configuration file, but this is probably the best way, in my opinion anyways, and easiest, simplest, yeah. So, before we do this, I'm going to show you guys some, I'm going to show you guys the three variables that we are going to be setting, and these, this whole talk about variables will make sense in just a second, but, um, so as you can see here, we just got a basic window, wow, I'm out of breath, I've been talking really loud and really fast, um, just a basic window, there's no title at the top. It's 800 by 600 pixels, I think. And, yeah, it's just super basic. Super awesome picture, though, you know what I mean, yeah. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to be changing the width, the height, and setting a title to the game window. Um, so this magical function that I've been talking about so much is called function, it's called love.conf, and then inside of the parentheses, put a T. I think I already explained it, but things in programming, most of the time, whenever something's inside of a, um, inside of parentheses, it is called an argument, and it is something that's required for whatever the function is. So this T is, we're going to be using this T to help set variables. What I mean by that is the first variable we're going to set is T.screen.width. And as you can see, this T, it doesn't need to be a T. It can be any other letter, but T is just so fucking sexy. Um, we're going to use T. And if you changed the T in the parentheses to, let's say, W, then you'd have to change this T to a W. But I like T because, like I just said, it's super sexy. Um, so this is what I mean by an argument. Anything that in here is in the parentheses is something we're going to be using inside of the function and there are a lot of different uses for arguments that we'll be using when we start moving our character and all that but for now let's set the width so this is actually it's not in inches or centimeters it is in pixels and I'm on a Mac so a good size for me would probably be 900 and then to set the height you guessed it t.screen.height I'm gonna set mine to 900. Whoa, I'm just getting crazy. Okay, last best variable, my favorite, t dot title. Um, there. I need to explain a certain thing about variables before we set our title. There are a lot of different variables in programming. In case you didn't know, um, <laughs> there. There, we're gonna simpli simplify it down because really. If you're programming in Lua, you don't need to memorize all of the var not memorize, but you don't need to know all the variables because you don't have to set. Usually, when you're programming, like you see how this is a integer, you don't have to remember that, but that that's that's an integer. You probably knew that. What you'd have to do most of the time is say int and then say the name of the variable and then set it. Like in, I'm pretty sure you have to do that in Java. But so there's integers. There's decimals, there's strings, there's just a bunch of different kinds, but we're going to be working with two basic ones in Love2D. One of them which is called strings, and one of them which is called, we're just going to call them number variables, number variables. Um, so, a string 
is basically anything that isn't a number. It's symbols, question mark, greater than sign. Well, not, no, don't ignore that greater than sign. Um, it's letters. It's like a word. It's anything. It's just a string of letters or a string of symbols. Um, it's anything but numbers. So, whenever you set a string variable, it has to be in quotation marks. So, since this title is obviously not a number, it is not being described as any width or height or anything. It is a string variable. So now we type in the name of it. I'm going to call mine YouTube YouTube Butthole. Yeah. Okay. So now we have set our t.screen.width to 900, t.screen.height to 900, t.title to YouTube Butthole. Doesn't matter what any of these are. It's just whatever fits your screen. You can mess around with these. And I have not tried, but I'm pretty sure you could just make this drag on forever. Okay. So now I'm going to compress my game. You guys don't have to unless you want to see your work of art. Run it. Bam! YouTube butthole. Wider screen. Awesome logo. Taller screen. I think this screen actually goes off of my computer. Because I don't think my computer is 900 pixels tall. But yes, this was a very short tutorial, I know. But it's very important. And it'll make... If it doesn't make sense now, like I always say, it'll make sense later when we start getting deeper into the game programming. Um... Next tutorial, we'll be doing player movement. Finally, yeah! Um, so I hope this helps. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, tell your friends. Oh, God.